As most of you know by now, we are getting a Harry Potter reboot, which will be produced by HBO Max, or Max as they're now called with their rebrand. Instead of movies though, it's going to be a TV show. I've talked about what I want to see from this reboot in previous videos. The main thing I was saying was that the TV format would allow the showrunners to give much more detail to the story told in the books than the movies were able to do. This is a no-brainer. We can see plot lines that were left out, like the Marauder's backstory, all of Voldemort's memories, the full Prince's tale, Hagrid and Maxime's mission, full Quidditch seasons instead of just one or zero games each movie, and of course characters that were left out of the films like Charlie Weasley, Ludo Bagman, Ted Tonks, Andromeda Tonks, Winky, and so many more. While all of this is great, there are challenges that this TV show will face, the number one thing being the eight movies. The thing with this reboot is we already have a really good adaptation of the book series, and it was done not that long ago. The eight Harry Potter movies are the gold standard of how to adapt a book, and have been for the last two decades. Are they perfect? Certainly not. But are they loved and adored by fans? Absolutely. This means that no matter how good the TV show is, it will always be compared to the eight movies. I mean, it's a movie series so iconic that they didn't even need a freaking title on the final movie's poster. They just had the release date in the picture. The level of clout that gives the Harry Potter movies is insane, and I don't think the cultural phenomenon will ever reach the heights the franchise did in 2011, even if the show was a flawless retelling of the books on every level. The thing that really got me thinking about this is the new Percy Jackson TV show. I'm breaking every episode down, which has led to a lot of people adding their opinions in my comment section. And let me tell you, three episodes in, and people are already comparing it to the two movies from the 2010s. These movies suck and are so unfaithful to the books they're based on that the author of the series didn't even bother watching them. However, they hold a place in a lot of people's hearts because they grew up with them. So getting to my point, if fans are comparing these god-awful movie adaptations to the new Percy Jackson TV show, imagine what Harry Potter fans are going to do when comparing an actual good movie adaptation that we grew up with to this new Harry Potter TV show. This show is going to be crucified, there's no way around it. When you look at recent reboots that were successful, you have the Rocky series with the Creed movies, Star Wars with the sequel trilogy and all of the Disney Plus shows, Top Gun with Top Gun Maverick, Jurassic Park with Jurassic World, and even Karate Kid with Cobra Kai. These were all semi-successful reboots, and that might give you hope for the new Harry Potter TV show. However, the Harry Potter reboot is very different than these examples of reboots. And that's because all of those reboots were spin-offs or sequels of the original series. They had the characters from the old films come back, and they had a continuation or prequel of the franchises they were based on. Honestly, I know we call them reboots, but they're not really reboots, they're more like sequels and prequels. But anyway, even though that formula worked for so many other franchises, it is not what Max and Warner Brothers is doing with this Harry Potter reboot. They are simply retelling the exact same story, following the exact same books that the movies did. There's no follow up, there's no idea for a prequel, it's just the same shit, different decade. This will be the third time we see this same story, first with the books, then with the movies, and now with the TV show. It actually reminds me a lot of the Spider-Man movies. Everyone was complaining that The Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield was doing another origin story because it was too soon or too similar to the Tobey Maguire movies. The same thing is going to happen here, only they can't branch out and make a whole new story following the origin like The Amazing Spider-Man 2 did, which was very different than Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 2. Max is essentially stuck with the Spider-Man origin problem for the entire Harry Potter TV show's run. They are locked into following the same books the movies did. And there are so many things that the Harry Potter movies did that will be impossible for the TV show to top. You have Voldemort's resurrection in the graveyard scene, Sirius's death, the chess match in Ron's sacrifice, Voldemort and Dumbledore's duel at the Ministry, Dumbledore's death, the tale of the three brothers, and I could go on. But what this reboot should have done is rebooted the franchise by making spin-off stories, sort of like Max did with House of the Dragon, which is of course a spin-off of their Game of Thrones show. Warner Brothers obviously tried to do this with the Fantastic Beast films, but that did not go well seeing as the series is now cancelled. And honestly, I think that's what Warner Brothers gets for giving too much power to a mere book author new to the world of Hollywood on what to do next with the franchise that they owned. Rowling thinks like an author, not as a marketer. Instead of having a movie series about a guy that had literally one small mention throughout all seven books, seriously, that's the only time he's brought up. As an author on a list of books Harry has to get for school in the very first book, he's never mentioned again. Instead of focusing on a character like Newt, they should have had a spin-off about characters we know and love. Maybe a series about Harry's father James and the Marauders, focusing on James, Sirius, Lupin, and Pettigrew's time at Hogwarts. Or even a spin-off show about 
Mad-Eye Moody and his time as the greatest Oer of all time, or a spinoff about Voldemort's past, I know better than anyone that that will get you views. And there are so many other things to choose from, but unfortunately, Warner Brothers continuously makes the wrong decisions, first with the Fantastic Beasts films, and now, in my opinion, by choosing to reboot everything rather than working off what you have. I mean, they're already using the same music, the same text font, and the same layout for Hogwarts in their promo. So if you're working off what you built with the 8 films with the promo like this, latch onto that and run with it. Don't start over and make your new work heavily compared to your existing IP. An IP that is one of the most beloved and respected movie franchises of all time. You own that IP. Why are you trying to replace it with something that will never live up to the originals? This is going to be a daunting task for them. Just think about this. They have to replace an all-star cast not only with the trio, but with some adult actors who have passed away as well, only adding to the challenge. Replacing Dan Rupert and Emma is basically a suicide mission for whatever actors they choose. I mean, just look at the kids in the new Percy Jackson series. They're going through so much bullying right now. It's unfortunate, but that's what the kids are signing up for when they agree to play these characters, and that's what these actors are signing up for when they agree to play the new Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And let's not forget having to replace such legendary actors as Alan Rickman, Gary Oldman, Robbie Coltrane, David Thewlis, Maggie Smith, and so many more. Even the adult actors chosen will struggle with hate from the public. And it's a sad thing, but it's the world we live in today. I try to use my platform to stop this bullying of these actresses and actors as much as I can. I've done it for the Percy Jackson cast, and I did it for Rachel Zegler after the Snow White fiasco when I was talking about the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. But there's only so much one guy on YouTube can do. However, I have a surefire solution that would make all of the problems I just mentioned go away. Make it animated. It would make it different enough that it wouldn't be compared to the movies, it gives us a new cool way of seeing the franchise because as I said, this is going to be the third version of the same story. It's also the perfect time to do it with the success of the Spider-Verse movies, Invincible, and Arcane. Making it animated, you can also make the characters look exactly how they're supposed to look, meaning there won't be any controversy with the casting, and the cast is less likely to get bullied when they just do voiceover work. If done right, it could be really, really special. Now, are they going to do it? Absolutely not. At the end of the day, this is a cash grab, and animated projects almost never make as much as the live action projects, even the most successful ones like Spider-Verse. To answer the title of the video, we definitely do not need a reboot of the Harry Potter franchise, especially one that tells the exact same story that the books and films did. Am I excited for it? As a content creator, yes. As a Harry Potter fan, I'm a little worried. I'm gonna be honest. That's how I feel. I'm just worried. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this reboot and everything that I just said. I always love to read your thoughts, but I'm especially excited to read your thoughts for this one. That's all I have for you guys today though, so I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can follow me on Instagram to see more of my personal life like my cute dog Loki and some behind the scenes movie flame stuff. I also do similar content on TikTok and Twitter that I do here on this channel, so if you like what I do here, check them out. All the handles are right below me, and links are in the description. Over here are my wonderful patrons. If you want to be featured on the next video, plus get a few other perks, become a patron today. As always, if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe, and look out for more great Movie Flame videos on the way.